today in Cary. The town is hosting. We're on. Oh, I was looking at my, uh, That's all right. my, my iPad here. That's all right. Trying to figure out what that story was about. <laughs> and I will say you never lie about your age. You're very upfront about your sure. age. Sure. Why would I? Absolutely. 29. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, thank you, Mrs. Hetzel. These are delicious. They are taking such good care of us out here. Phil, zip it. Just kidding. You <laughs> Looking ahead now, if you plan to travel in the new year, analysts are out with the top vacation hotspots of 2014. A Fayetteville mother speaking out after learning prosecutors will not file charges against an officer who shot her son. Fire up your school spirit with WNCN Today's Paige Crawford Friday mornings this fall. Each week, it's a new school and new excitement as Paige leads Friday morning pep rallies all over the triangle. How about you? No, I haven't even started. Oh. <laughs> but wow. I'm not alone, and neither are you <laughs> no. if you haven't. Which is wow. good news if you're going to be outside Absolutely. watching anything mm, drop. Exactly. Definitely. Not the temperatures. Nope. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. going like to say that. Oh, for me too. Oh. Thank you, intern Caleb. Uh, He's usually in Hello, yes. Do you see the sweat on my, on my nose, Caleb? Get to work. Thank you. This, wow. Thank you. This is it's been amazing birth control being here today. <laughs> <laughs> so Caleb's parents, if you're watching, you're welcome. Yes. I've got five inches since Monday, so okay, I can take the day off. I'm off, sorry. I feel bad. Show them, Paige. I don't think it's we're close enough, but if you can see, this is my eye trick. Yeah, I could, maybe I'm part dolphin. <laughs> this is a closer camera angle, so I'll show you. That's my eye trick. That's my dolphin eye trick. Back to you guys. The studio just erupted in applause after she finished that. Mariana. That was amazing. We hope to see. I know. <laughs> she was so cute. But Taylor, you're going down, sister. I'm getting you anyway. <laughs> Can you see that? No? Well, let's give our volunteer here a nice big round of applause to help me out of here. We'll have more factoids for you on NCCU in just a minute, but a huge congratulations, ladies. Let's cheer it up for the anchors because they finally got one right. Well, you know what? It took us five days. And viewers can too because his right, coffee right cup is here. on the desk. That's right. That is true. So I have to bring straws in actually tomorrow morning. And look at this. Also hanging oh. at the stalls. Hello. Red. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What does that possibly cover? Red and yellow underwear. This red symbolizes love, while those sporting the yellow are thought to attract money. Although I don't quite get how that translates to your underpants. <laughs> Love and the underpants. Well, love, sir. Mm. You can catch both of us on NBC 17, your favorite station right here in the trapezoid. It's the triangle. Say, dang, nobody nice knows try, the trapezoid triangle. Today, Moral Monday protesters are expected to gather at the state capitol to call on Governor McCrory to convene a special session of the General Assembly. To today's money now, what is expected to cost you more in this coming year, 2014? Well, beef prices will go up even more next year because the cost of feeding cattle is increasing. The cost of bread is expected to rise as wheat and wheat flour prices could increase 4 to 5 percent. Package shipping from the post office expected to go up 2 percent, and the cost of forever stamps is set to go up three cents to 49 cents in late January. Home price is also expected to increase. Look for a three to five percent jump in the cost of housing and chocolate prices could soar 26 percent in the <gasps> coming year because of heavy demand that will outweigh the uh, crop growth. My heart is broken. I know. 26 percent worth for every chocolate penny. It is. It's delicious. <laughs> This is an interview you will see only on NBC 17. I was raped hundreds of times. Jane was just 17 when she started seeing a man more than twice her age. She says he tricked her into posing for pornographic pictures. He's like, you're beautiful, you could be a model. And so he got a Polaroid camera and he began taking pictures of me. They started out pretty just uh, innocent. And then they became more and more uh, sexual. And she says it didn't stop at just pictures. I remember there was a lot of voices in the background and I was asleep in the bedroom and I woke up and my underwear was gone and there were a lot of voices uh, and I there's evidence of me being gang raped. Jane says she was even left chained and handcuffed to the bed once. But none of these was a red flag to her at the time. Said, this is what I thought a relationship looked like. I grew up with um, abusive relationships in my family and being abused sexually, physically. Uh, so I just didn't know any better. And it wasn't until years later that she realized the worst part. When I found out he had mass produced everything, he had been selling pictures of me. He had eight by tens, four by sixes, colored black and white, uh, thousands of them. Jane was a victim of sex trafficking. The definition of human trafficking is that someone is being exploited through force, fraud, or coercion, um, and that may be through labor or forced sex. Jennifer Fisher is with the North Carolina Justice Academy. 
She teaches law enforcement officers how to identify potential victims of sex trafficking. A lot of victims of trafficking, including sex trafficking, do not identify themselves as being a victim. Some may feel that they got themselves in, their, in this situation and feel that it's their responsibility to get out. Turned out it was on the calendar. He had been keeping track, and he said it was how many times we made love, but it turned out it was how many times I was being raped and it was a business. A drug can only be sold one time, and the drug has been consumed and it is no longer available to be sold, whereas the human trafficking can be sold over and over and over again. Fayetteville Detective John Benazzi is a graduate of the Justice Academy's training program. He says it helped him give insight into the minds of both the victims and the perpetrators. Victims are, are scared to come forward. They're not sure how to report. Um, and and it, there's a lot of brainwashing, a lot of grooming, especially when you deal with younger, um, younger females, younger males. You know, they're looking for that um, figure, that mentor, and then they end up getting pushed to something they really don't know how to step back from. Point, he had that scenario was very familiar to Jane. Did a lot of manipulation and control, and I thought he loved me. He also never let me go anywhere without him, and I thought. From what he said, I don't want to be anywhere without you, so I want you to be with me all the time. And of course, you know, wanting to be loved, I was excited because, oh, well, he wants me, he needs me. But thanks and to her own awareness and so a friend she eventually confided in, sure. Jane found the strength to leave. I told him what happened, and he's like, that's not normal. Learn to be aware. You don't have to be paranoid, but be vigilant. This is real, and people need to do something about it. And it's just, it blows my mind, because if it was their child, then they'd want to do something about it. Even we were at the grocery now, store. Now, Jane speaks out about her abuse, empowering other young people to break the cycle of abuse in their own lives. Know your worth and know your value, and know that you deserve the best. If you are, you do practice a certain faith, really let God into your heart to do that healing and restoration because you can walk out your life in freedom. Because of these trainings offered by the North Carolina Justice Academy, law enforcement is able to find and prosecute more and more of the criminals in sex trafficking cases. To report any suspicious activity you've seen or to find out ways you can help, you can call the National Human Trafficking Hotline. The number's there at the bottom of your screen. It's one 373 Eight, eight. Oh, I'm gonna get to it. Your thumb's not even in there. One, two. Oh, the most difficult thumb war experience ever because this is too slippery. But, but why down, is it so slippery? Anyway. And what is it? Well, those are just a few of the questions you can have answered at the Moorhead Planetarium. We're, we're both pretty big nerds. You know, <laughs> he's only 10 months. I'm teaching him well. For people, or nerds, young and old, the planetarium offers a little something for all science lovers. We have a One World, One Sky show, which has Big Bird, it's our Sesame Street show. So you've got your preschoolers, we have plenty of shows for little kids, and then we have um, a couple of older, si more science-heavy shows in the afternoons. And on Sunday afternoons, we have Carolina Skies for all ranges. And don't miss the chance for a stroll through the nearby Coker Arboretum to check out and learn about all it has to offer. My favorite thing about being here is probably getting to see all of the campers that we get to see week after week. Hello, little ones. Hello, excuse me, excuse me. Coming through. We decided to put the campers we found to the test. Do you guys know planets first? Yeah. All right. Oh, okay, all right. Do you know I'm an order from the sun? Ooh. Is the, is, the, is the sun involved? Is the sun involved? You mean, does the sun count? I asked you. Oh, do you want it to count? Yes. <laughs> then yes, it does. What? Okay, so sun, we have the sun. Uh, Mercury. Mercury. Venus. Venus. Earth. Earth. Neptune. They're so good, they're all raising their hands. Look at this, good manners being taught at camp. Well, then everybody give our volunteer a nice big round of applause. Thank you very much. Also being taught why this doesn't pop. <laughs> Until now. And in the hands-on room, you can get some, well, hands-on time with everything from planets to that thumb war gunk tank. All in all, a trip to the planetarium is a fun, informative, and sometimes hair-raising good time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.